Mark here from New Hampshire. Years ago, I um, when I picked up the last dually that I'm the one I'm now sporting, the dually had the 454 in it. Well, they all did, but this particular one, the black one I'm driving, it was an 86. It had the 454 AC cruise. No power windows. That truck would need another battery to do all that. The um, the way that truck was set up, it was set up for uh, pulling horse trailers, and it had a engine oil cooler and. Um, when I got the truck, I made the deal with the guy that was selling it. That I get the truck, trainee, four wheel drive trainee, and everything. And he could keep the step and toe bumper and the 454. I did want the Rochester carburetor that was set up on that thing because it looked like it was never used the truck only had 70,000 miles on it it was an 86 I got it in uh, let's see 2007 I think it never been anywhere so I had all these oil coolers and lines and I had the oil cooler and the fan that was connected to the cooler I had these two lines that were headed right down to the um, oil filter adapter sandwich plate. So when the 454 would filter its oil, it also went through a cooler. And before it went back to the engine, it wasn't still boiling hot. Especially if it was pulling horses. And um, so I bought a Canton racing product remote oil cooler sandwich adapter. And I had it hooked up to the 383. The engine came from General Motors. It was a $6,000 find. They built the motor. They sent it to me with heads and intake already mounted. And so when we had the truck up in the air in the, in the shop, hooking up the flywheel, put a 14-inch flywheel on there, and we had to get rid of that 12 that came with the engine. I don't know why GM. They th I don't know what they're thinking, but now I would have had to get a smaller start, a smaller starter with a a different setup for the gear, for the Bendix to go in there and make connection. It's like no, we're going to run with the big all big starter, 14 inch. They had a 400 turbo trainee in there. Had the dust cover that was. 3 8 sticks, cast iron, uh, cast cast aluminum. I mean, they made that thing so nothing would happen to it. The bottom of that, talking about it. So we, um, we put that oil cooler adapter on the small block 383. And for some cockamamie reason, my race buddy, why he is, a, I don't know, sometimes it was a bipolar or what, but he uh, he didn't want to use the bolts that came with the kit. I could do it, I got a better idea, he says. And um, 
After he had it hooked up and I watched the engine run on the lift, I knew it wasn't going to be right. And I wasn't really impressed in with a, three, with, with a small block, and I wasn't going to be pulling horses from New Hampshire to Florida like the truck was designed to do for the winter. It's basically all that truck would do. They'd take the horses down there, they'd park it, service it, and bring them back. And then they'd park it and leave it in the field. And um, that's what them horse people did with dualies. So I got this, I got this brand new pot. I was rummaging in one of the sheds the other day. There's the Canton 22541. Small block Chevy remote oil cooler sandwich adapter. Now, if we were on a track and we were going to do that, these were the two bolts that you didn't want to use. No, I don't know. Got a new oil ring, O ring. It's got a new oil ring here. Got this oil ring here. I brought this in. I'm sick of kicking it around the yard. I bought this thing for uh, one of my oil changes. Hear what anybody says. If these oil filters did what they say that they do, they'd be out of business and they'd own everybody's motor. So once this thing here is mounted where the oil filter connection is on the block and it goes up in there with the o-ring and then it's got the oil pickup and it's got a it's got its own little transfer hole right there and you get these fittings here. Put the pipe thread in. I had Teflon tape on here before. It's been a while since we screwed one of these in there. It had pressure lines on it with flare fittings. Oh, come on, get out of there. All right, so we got the incoming. We got the outgoing. And then, of course, Get that all mounted to the uh, get that on the engine like so and you plug it into your cooler
So, oil cooler sandwich adapter. This adapter fits the 454. Even though they got the SBC on there. So, what we got here is the Canton. Oil filter, Canton sandwich oil filter adapter. And we got the original box. Like that. You don't get the filter. day I was uh, hanging out on YouTube and I think it was just before uh, went to hay pickup and Iron Horse was up there in New York wherever he is somewhere <clears throat> he's had problem he had problem with his truck something about the oil lines or something and I don't know exactly what it was that he had to fix, but it's taken me a while to find this this box here. It's so much stuff, you know. I I never throw anything out. But um I had a way to send this to him. It says right on the top of the box, Canton 541. It's a rare part. As it's made by racing people, this thing is not from China. So I am in, I'm in a Quonset hut that was originally cast as a part. It was a hundred feet long. I'm in fifty feet of it. This thing was slated to go overseas in the forties during World War Two. In nineteen forty six, forty seven, a lot of this stuff was sitting on the dock, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Navy shipyard. They're all in crates. Well, they didn't have to send them over there. Or well, they weren't going to ship them out to the islands through the Panama Canal. So the old codger that had this place, him and his buddy, they each got 50 feet of it. 
and uh, this was a guy had a little sawmills in here real small stuff everything was on man rail they had belts running down one side and back down the other side off of a, uh, a McCormick one lunger Brooklyn has been pretty good to me I managed to hot get this place now it's let's go Brandon And I'm going to fight like hell to hang on to it. Today's Saturday. We're uh, winding down a big week of log splitting and buzzsaw cord, cord wood production. Next, next couple of months. Gonna be in the dually five o'clock in the morning, hitting the road, joining the rat race. Gonna get some work done. Talk to you later.